I have a feeling that you're the kind of guy who could put in 60 hours a week, if not even more. I can almost guarantee that could be the case. How do you balance work and family life? I have been the 60 year. Yeah, that's a great question. I have been the 60 hour week guy. Um, When I opened Strata, I would wake up, I would come in, I would paint and build, I would work with clients, I would paint and build. And I was here for 18 hours a day, multiple days a week. And I have no problem working. I think of work and earning money, but also building the inertia of your business and the thing you're doing like a season in that winter comes. And when winter comes, you got to buckle down and make sure you got enough meat in the freezer and enough blankets or you're not going to make it through. Someone gives me a deadline of that. I need this much money to buy a house in new market. I need this much so I can retire. Um, I can hunker down and lose all my hair, grind my teeth and make it all happen. Because for me, it's not about what I'm doing today. It's about what it means for the future, what it means for the people I'm helping. So I can put 60 hours in and I actually enjoy it because it's not about the stress of today. It's about what comes next. But as I've gotten older, I have a family now. I've got a wife. I've got two kids. I've got a two and a half year old and a six month old. And uh, I love them all very, very dearly. And so I, one thing that I've had to learn over the years as a business owner and entrepreneur is I have to divide my time strategically um, for not just my family's sake, although my family, but for myself. So I break things down and that I've got money making time where right now you and I are doing this. I'm hoping this helps me be seen by new people. Um, I will create original content and course material, things to make my program better, where I'm trying to work on make money and frankly, sales and outreach. I was literally before we spoke outreaching to two people. Um, I have money now activities, which are taking simple strategies like resurrecting old clients, asking for renewals, things that will bring me money tomorrow or today along with what I call money later, where, okay, I'm doing something like building this new marketing channel, which in a year will bring X, Y, and Z business. And then there's money fulfillment by working with my clients. But I also need the strategic downtime. Hormesis, the dose response or a dose and relaxation, how we deal with stress is vital. Us as humans, we need stress so we can adapt and evolve. Growing muscle is a perfect example. You stress that muscle out, But then what do you do after you rest? So that way that hypertrophy response and all those other metabolic responses can happen. So the muscle tissue can grow. Well, the brain's like that. Your body's like that. Your business is like that. So I squeeze myself at 730 in the morning until 6 p.m. at night. And then I go home and I shut everything off. Not because I don't want to work on those things because I probably could, but it's because I need my brain to shift gears. And as long as I shift gears strategically, I'm good. There's, um, a great learning method, I think it's called the Pomodoro method. uh, And I could be paraphrasing the actual Pomodoro method completely, but it talks about um, studying and learning. That if you wanna study and learn as much as you can within a two hour window, you can't study one topic for two hours. You'll never get it. But if you study three topics in 20 minute chunks and you repeat it over a few times and you shift gears where you're thinking about sales, marketing, biomechanics and you shift back and forth, you can do it all day because you're shifting gears enough that your body can retain the previous information and engage a whole new section of your brain. So I look at it that way, that my Monday through Friday, 7.30 to six, I grind, I do different things, it's a blast, I grow and then I get home and I shut down. Because at the end of the day, Tom, as you know, life is gosh darn short. And I wanna honor as much as I could be making more money if I was working more, there are time with my kids that I won't be able to get back. So when I'm home, I'm present with them because I want to experience every bit of that I can with my wife and my kids so I can enjoy this crazy thing I'm working for.